So here you see the implementation for the queue. I'm not gonna show you the rest of the code, but I am gonna talk briefly about uh, why is an interface useful? So here we implement the queue, which means we have all of the methods from queue, all these public methods have to be implemented. And I've already shown you how to do that quickly. I added an extra method called extra method that is not in the interface. And it just prints out I'm an extra method. It's nothing exciting. We're now gonna look at the testing code for this. So I built a, here's I declared a queue, a queue implementation object equals new queue implementation. And then I called the extra method right here. And we're about to see what happens when we run it. We're gonna see that it prints out that extra method. Here we go, I'm an extra method. What we can do now, I really only wanna use the methods in queue that are in the interface. So instead of declaring it as a queue implementation, I'm gonna declare it as a queue. Now you might think, oh, well, this is what it should look like. But think about what a queue is. A queue has no actual code in it. You can't create a queue object because there's no code. All it is is a bunch of promises of what code will exist for anything that implements the queue. Which means you can't create a queue object. You can create a queue implementation object because queue implementation implements queue, meaning it has all those methods in it. It may also have more, but because I declared this object as a queue right here, that means that this object queue only knows about the methods that are in the interface, which is why we have an error right here. If I change this back to queue implementation, Now it's okay to call the extra method, but remember the extra method only existed in queue implementation. It didn't exist in the queue to start with. That should be the only error in my code as long as all of your methods below only call methods from the interface and not any extra methods that you added in the implementation. So when I test your code, I'm gonna create a queue, I'm gonna declare a queue object that's going to actually be the queue implementation that you wrote, and then I'm gonna test it out. I will show you the code, the output of the code, ignore the extra method, that won't be there. So I have an empty queue, and I wanted to check, does it contain eggs, and that is false. You can see that happen right here. Then I filled it up with some things, I was thinking about breakfast. Uh, then I removed potato from the queue, Every time I'm printing out the size, just so we can uh, see if the size is actually correct. And let's see, remove one item. I add biscuits and gravy because they're amazing and you see the size. I intentionally removed something and then added things back in just to make sure the size is correct and it didn't cause any other problems or didn't reorder things. You see eggs still at the beginning right here. Uh, whereas potato, yeah, we remove potato, so then egg shifted up to the uh, start or the zero position. I did a couple contains down here, and I did them on this queue right here. So we got biscuits it has, pancakes it does not have, because it's not in there, and eggs it does have. I tested contains on an empty queue right here. The queue was empty, and I tested do you have eggs, and it was false, which is correct. Uh, and then I cleared it out. I removed all, and there's two easy ways to remove all. I wanted to remove one at a time and see the queue slowly shrink down where we would lose, let's see, moving removed eggs, so cheese was next. So it removed eggs, then it'll be cheese, bacon, biscuits, gravy. So we got eggs, cheese, bacon, biscuits, gravy, and now it's back to no items in the queue, and that's all I tested right there. 
Uh, I think this will be a thorough amount of tests. You want to test contains that returns both true and false. You also want to uh, test contains on an empty queue, which of course should return false. Uh, one method I certainly did not test was the get method. Remove, test remove, or the peak method. I did not test peak. Tested size all over the place. Is empty, I tested in the remove all. That's how I knew it's a while it is not empty is how I removed everything. Uh, and then I did not test clear, so I'm gonna test clear and peak, and that should complete all the tests. And then I will run your code using the tests that I wrote. And as long as you implemented the queue interface, it'll at least call the methods and I will find out if they're functioning correctly or not.